Oh, man, that hurt. Oh, hey, what's up, everybody? It's Joel, where I do reviews at Help and Gaming. And whoa, ah! This is my friend Joseph, and this is my friend Deacon from school. I hope you guys enjoy. Hello, everybody. My name is Joel, and you're watching the Joel Hitman Show. Um, today is a bit of a different video. If you watch the gaming or review stuff that I do, or if you just like those types of videos and you like dislike school, I don't recommend watching this video. Because personally, I don't really care much for school. I mean, I like it. It gives me time to get away from my annoying house. But, uh, whatever. So, today I'm going to show you guys how to multiply decimals by whole numbers. So, this is the whole number right here. And this is our decimal, like, number. And I'm going to show you guys how to do this with, like, the lattice sort of technique. Um, so the first thing you want to do is pay attention to your number. We're going to want to pay attention the most to this section right here. Because this part is pretty simple. What I'm going to do is grab a piece of graph paper. And the first thing you want to do is write down the whole number somewhere in like the middle of your piece of paper. Then what you want to do is draw... A line that goes one over to the um, right of the number and put like the time symbol and then below that put the decimal number but don't put the decimal although we are going to need to use the decimal to get um, our final answer and then after that uh, this is how you draw the lattice or lattice however you pronounce it like this technically you don't really need these lines but I put them there uh, so now what you want to do once you have like the box set up so if my hand or like sorry if my writing is a little bit iffy I'm like writing through my tripod right now okay so once you have it set up you want to do this you want to times the top number by or like the top number that's over here by this number and if you have um, a double digit uh, whole number you would just write uh, the di a double digit number here and then you would continue the lattice box over to the end and what you want to do if you have that is multiply the this number by this then this then this and then once you get done this by this by this Okay, so first thing you want to do is multiply this, um, for my case, the 0 by the 9. And 0 times 9, anything times 0 is 0. And then 5 times 9, you just have to um, count by 5. So in this case, it's 45. And, well, it's the same numbers, so same answer. Okay, so now we have... Zero zero four five four five, and we want to make sure that we have our rows set up like this, laying up to the boxes. Um, this will just help keep everything organized. So the first thing you want to do is the number that's down here, write it right below it in the box below, and then uh, we have a five and a four. We add these two, so that is going to be nine. And for this, it's just going to be 4, and we don't have to write it, but I'm going to write the 0. So there we go. Now I will draw like an arrow. Oh, gee, that went too low. You want to write an arrow going from the top of the question down to the bottom of the question. And we're going to write down this number as we see it up here. So I don't have to write the 0. I'm going to write four, nine, five, and this is not our final answer. What we have to do now is take a look at our question, which, for instance, is right there. And as we had our final answer, we have to look at how many numbers we have on the right side of the decimal. You want to highlight those numbers. You don't have to, but I like to. It just gives me like a trick identifier if I have to look at the back of the paper. So now we have 9 times 0 uh, decimal 
highlighted 55. And now, however many numbers you have on the right side of the decimal is how many spaces you're going to move over. So in my case, it's two. One and two. Then the decimal goes right there. And when I'm putting a box around a number, it usually means that is the final answer. So the final answer is four nine times zero point fifty five is a 4.95 so now we want to write this down on the question mark so this is everything I did in total I wrote my number did the work and that's how I got my answer so now I'm going to move this aside and get this up so here's the question and I'm going to write down our answer which was 4.95 Here we go. And now we are done. So I hope the video helped you. If you did, make sure you like. Um, usually you're probably like watching this in a classroom for like a project or something. But if you actually like watch my channel, you can subscribe and like and comment and share to friends, family, who like and stuff like that. So yeah, bye for now. Thank you for watching. Hope the video helped you.